45 ways to cook bass. Baked bass 1. Scale, wash, and clean, leaving the head intact. Make a stuffing of two cupfuls of breadcrumbs, one cupful of butter, two eggs well beaten, and enough cold water to make a smooth paste. Season with pepper, salt, grated lemon, minced parsley, thyme, and marjoram. Split the fish, stuff, and sew up. Lay thin slices of salt pork over the fish and put into a baking pan with a little boiling water seasoned with wine and tomato juice. Bake carefully, basting frequently. The gravy may be thickened and served with the fish. Baked Bass 2. Split the fish and stuff with seasoned mashed potatoes. Put a little boiling water and a tablespoonful of butter into the baking pan and baste frequently while cooking. Baked Bass 3. Rub the inside of the fish with salt. Sprinkle the outside with pepper and salt. Cover with sliced onion and salt pork. Dredge with flour and put into the baking pan with sufficient boiling water to keep from burning. Baste frequently while cooking, remove the pork and onion, thicken the sauce with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour, blended and mixed with a little tomato catsup. Pour the hot sauce over the fish and serve. Baked Bass 4 Make a stuffing of one cupful of breadcrumbs, one teaspoonful each of melted butter, Worcester sauce, tomato catsup, minced parsley, minced onion, minced olives or pickles, lemon juice, salt, black pepper, and paprika to taste, and sufficient cold water to moisten. Sew up the fish and bake as usual. Serve with tartar sauce. Baked Bass with White Wine Put a bass into a baking dish with salt, pepper, and mushroom liquor to season, and enough white wine to moisten. Cover with buttered paper and bake for 15 minutes. Melt two tablespoonfuls of butter, add three tablespoonfuls of flour and cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of white stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and add the yolks of three eggs beaten with a little cold water and the juice of half a lemon. Add a tablespoonful of butter and the juice in the baking pan. Pour over the bass and serve. Baked Bass with Shrimp Sauce Marinate the clean fish for an hour in oil and vinegar. Put into a baking pan with slices of salt pork underneath and on top and sufficient boiling water to keep from burning. Add a teaspoonful of butter to the water and baste two or three times during the hour of baking. Strain the gravy and set aside. Melt one tablespoonful of butter, add one tablespoonful of flour and cook until brown. Add one cupful of the liquid left in the baking pan, making up the required quantity with boiling water, if necessary. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with cayenne and lemon juice, and add half a can of shrimps chopped fine. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Baked and Stuffed Black Bass Mix together one cupful of breadcrumbs, two small onions chopped, Two eggs well beaten and cold water to moisten. Season with Worcester, Tabasco, and minced parsley. Stuff a bass with this mixture, rub with melted butter, and bake with a little boiling water, basting as required. Baked Bass a la Newport Clean the fish, gash the top, season with salt and pepper, and cover with thin slices of salt pork. Pour a little boiling water into the pan and bake slowly, basting as required. Serve with the pork. Bacon may be used instead. Baked Bass a la Manhattan Butter a baking dish, put in the cleansed fish, rub with melted butter, season with salt and pepper, and cover with thin slices of bacon and breadcrumbs. Add a little boiling water and bake in a very hot oven, basting as required. Baked Bass and Tomatoes Select one large bass or two small ones. Clean the head and let it remain on the fish. Slice four tomatoes and cut in halves. Make a plain bread dressing. Open the fish, rub the inside lightly with salt and soft butter. Lay a thick layer of tomatoes in, then a layer of the bread dressing, alternating them until the fish is well stuffed, then bind with a tape. Lard the fish with strips of salt pork. Lay in a baking pan, 
Add one cupful of hot water and one tablespoonful of butter and bake, basting often. In 15 minutes, take the pan out of the oven and spread the fish with a layer of thinly sliced tomatoes, seasoned with a sprinkling of salt, some melted butter, and a light sprinkling of grated cheese. Bake until the tomatoes are done, then carefully remove it to a platter, taking off the tape first. Garnish with parsley and serve. Baked Bass a la Babette Clean the fish, salt it well, and put into a baking pan with a cupful of water. Put lumps of butter on top and season with salt, pepper, and minced parsley. Bake for an hour, basting often. Add a wine glass full of sherry and a little catsup to the sauce remaining in the pan. Thicken with a teaspoonful of flour, rubbed smooth with a little cold water. Baked Fillets of Bass Cut bass into small fillets, sprinkle with salt and pepper, put into a shallow pan. Cover with buttered paper and bake for twelve minutes in a hot oven. Serve with a border of boiled rice and hollandaise sauce. Baked Bass a la Montmorency Clean, skin, and bone a bass and cut into pieces. Butter a baking dish, put in the fish, season with salt, pepper, and white wine. Cover with buttered paper and set in the oven until the fish is partly cooked. Take out the fish and arrange in a baking pan. Add to the remaining liquor a chopped onion, half a dozen mushrooms, and two sprigs of parsley finely chopped. Add a little stock and thicken with a teaspoonful of flour rubbed smooth in a little cold water. Pour this sauce over the fish, lay a large mushroom on each piece, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake in the oven. Sprinkle with lemon juice before serving. Stuffed Sea Bass Clean the fish and cover it with a marinade of olive oil and vinegar. Soak for an hour. Fill the fish with chopped salt pork and mushrooms. Put into a baking pan with slices of salt pork underneath and on top, and sufficient boiling water. Bake for 40 minutes. Cover with slices of tomatoes and half a sweet green pepper chopped fine. Dot with butter and bake for 20 minutes more. Take up the fish and rub the sauce through a colander. Stir in a tablespoonful of butter rolled in flour, add one teaspoonful of sugar and two teaspoonfuls of grated onion. Dilute with boiling water if too thick, bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Bass a la Bordelaise Split a large sea bass. Put into a baking dish with a wine glass full of claret and salt and pepper to season. Sprinkle with chopped shallot, cover with buttered paper, and cook in a moderate oven for 15 minutes. Lay the bass on a platter, put the juice in a saucepan with half a teaspoonful of beef extract, four chopped mushrooms, and a bruised bean of garlic. Thicken with flour browned in butter, bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve very hot. Boiled Bass Clean the fish, put it into warm salted water, and simmer for 20 minutes. Boiled Sea Bass with Egg Sauce Boil the fish according to directions previously given. Melt one tablespoonful of butter, add two tablespoonfuls of flour, and cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of the water in which the fish was boiled, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, pepper, minced parsley, and lemon juice. Add three hard-boiled eggs, coarsely chopped, pour over the fish, and serve. Boiled Bass with Mushrooms Boil a bass in water to cover, adding to the water four tablespoonfuls of vinegar, six peppercorns, and a little salt. Melt one tablespoonful of butter, add one tablespoon of flour, and cook thoroughly. Add one cupful or more of boiling water, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add the juice of half a lemon, half a can of mushrooms chopped fine, and pepper and salt and minced parsley to season. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Boiled Black Bass with Cream Sauce Clean the bass and sew it up in coarse cheesecloth. Boil in enough water to cover, adding half a cupful of vinegar, a sliced onion, six or eight whole peppers, a blade of mace, and salt to season. Take up the fish and reduce the liquid by rapid boiling. Strain and set aside. Melt one tablespoonful of butter, add one tablespoonful of flour, and cook thoroughly. Add a cupful of the strained liquid and cook until thick, stirring constantly. 
Season to taste, add half a cupful of cream, bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and garnish with sliced lemons.